Hey guys, welcome back to another little YouTube video here. Today, let's talk about the opportunity you have right now. If you're going through crazy panic attacks, agoraphobia, just intense anxiety, uh, if you're so scared you can't even leave your room or I mean, if it's impossible to even have a conversation with anyone, you feel so much fear and you're just basically at a loss and you feel hopeless and powerless over the situation, I just want to tell you my experience. It's the biggest opportunity for change and for growth that you will ever have. And if you take this, the simple and effective, not easy, but the simple and effective steps that I'm going to share with you, that you're going to see what is happening to you right now as a tremendous gift. And I know that sounds crazy and you probably, some of you probably just want to punch me in the face for even saying that. I know my old self when I was going through just horrid amounts of anxiety, almost into, I remember sitting outside literally being in a near psychosis, I was in so much anxiety and agoraphobia. I couldn't like I couldn't leave my room for a period of time. My I was my life was completely in tatters. Um, I had so much fear inside of me, and so I I know if, if this is you, I know how it feels. I know where you're at, but I just want to really share with you guys so the things that um, I learned and why it's such a big opportunity. Okay. So the reason that it's a huge opportunity is the number one catalyst for growth and coming to a state of inner balance is pain and suffering. And if you are going through panic attacks and an intense in amount of anxiety, you might be in a perpetual nonstop state of just suffering and pain. And it might just seem un un like unreasonable, like where is all this fear coming from? Why do I feel so much anxiety? I sometimes you can't even pinpoint it. It's just persistent and nagging and you you can't get away from it, you know? And I, I I've been there and I and I know the feeling. But that those emotions, those feelings, that fear energy going through, that is where all the growth is. That is where all your power is. That that is where all the expansion that you could ever dream of happens. It's, it's, it's there to trying to serve you. You're feeling what you're feeling for a reason. Those feelings are there to promote your growth. So the first thing I want to talk about is we become so imbalanced through uh, unconscious, diluted thinking. It's... Um, it's something where we're not even aware we're doing it, but we are unconsciously identifying with the fear-based programs that are in our mind. And it may, it may be beliefs we picked up through childhood, it may be social conditioning, it may be we've had a very traumatic life, um, it may be a horrible car crash. I mean, there are a myriad of reasons why we have unconsciously identified with these diluted beliefs that have caused us such an inner imbalance that we are having all of these now reactions to that Im Im imbalance. We are having these manifestations of that imbalance. And that's what a panic attack is. It's just a manifestation of an imbalance, an unconscious imbalance becoming more and more and more and more imbalanced until boom, there's a, re there's a reaction. I mean, and that panic attack is trying to get your attention that look, there's a, there's an imbalance going on in here. We need to go within. We need to do the inner work. We need to ask the right questions. We need to show some courage and we need to not make excuses for our powerlessness because if we are going to make excuses for our powerlessness then there is nothing that can be done for us so it's it the, the point is it's not important how the imbalance started or how it became how it is it, it, we just need to start with we have an imbalance 
Now we need to go towards balance. And the simplest way to do this is to not suppress anything to not the thing that we need to know is that a panic attack, agoraphobia, dealing with persistent anxiety, um, just anything that feels just debilitating, um, these are just all wake up calls to coming into inner growth, to coming into an inner state of balance. And if we don't heed the wake up call, I mean, it builds and builds and builds. If you look back, you could probably see there were moments when it was starting and it's getting worse and it's getting, and now it's gotten to the point where it's just like this blaring siren that's going 24 seven. It's, and what it's trying to say is let go of your delusions, let go of the unconscious patterns that you're living your life by come into alignment with who you are come into balance with your light and your dark energy stop being afraid of all of this energy embrace it open to it because i'm trying to tell you something i'm trying to wake you up to to your growth to who you're supposed to be and it's when we ignore these uh these wake-up calls that it just gets worse and worse and worse and then we find ourselves in a situation where we feel absolutely fucking hopeless so we need to we need to heed the wake up call and i wrote down some things um these are like examples i found and that i've lived through if if you are going through something like this it's a wake up call to, to expand into more growth and inner balance obsessive fears and fears just obsessive fears created by thoughts uh, an anxiety that seems unrelenting in its presence an event in your life that leaves you feeling emotionally broken, lost, confused, or powerless. A nagging feeling of being stuck. Um, and an uncontrolled behavior, re behavioral response pattern that starts creating this dysfunction in your reality. And I found these off calmdownmind.com. Amazing blog if you're going through something like uh, panic attacks, too much anxiety, believing deluded thoughts, anything like that. Amazing blog. So really any form of suffering like i said earlier any form of pain and suffering that's a, that's a wake up call right now right there now like i said it's not important where all of this imbalance came from what's important to know is we have an imbalance what do we do okay well the typical usual response is suppression avoidance distraction um looking to not feel the feelings looking to you know find something at, externally to try to solve the problem that's going on internally but um, I'm here to tell you that your external reality is always a perfect mirror and reflection of your internal reality so if your internal reality is imbalanced you're always going to be looking out at that same imbalanced projection you're going to experience life in an unbalanced way so the simplest most effective Solution is to go right to the root of the of the imbalance internally if you can become more internally balanced more internally aligned That the external reality is going to clear up and reflect that on its own. There's nothing more you have to do It's so simple. So instead of worrying about a thousand things out here that are going wrong. You're blaming somebody You're blaming a circumstance You're blaming and not, it doesn't matter Circumstances do not matter. Only your state of being matters. And your state of being is determined by how you respond to your circumstances. It's that simple. It's all internal and then it goes out. So inside out, that's what we need to bring the focus to. And the only way to do that is to feel what's going on. And the best, most practical thing I can tell you and I might even put this at the beginning of the video because it's, it's so important. This is the thing. You've got to find 20 to 30 minutes where you can be completely alone every day. If you want to really transform, if you want to really feel free of this burden of fear that is just on you every second, this is the most important thing you can do for yourself. Find yourself 20 to 30 minutes a day completely alone, close your eyes, and just let go. 
Now, I know that seems like, just close your eyes and let go. What the hell, man? Okay, and now I'm going to break it down into more subtle parts because I know that's not like the easiest thing to comprehend. So what you do is you just, you close your eyes and you just relax your awareness. And when you relax your awareness, what that means is you just become this neutral state of presence. You're just this space of energy and you're not saying yes to any thoughts. You're not saying no. And you don't have to really focus on observing every thought. No, that's not what you're trying to do. You just relax your awareness. Observing is automatic. You don't have to try to be aware. You don't have to try to see. You don't have to try to see the thoughts that are going through your mind. It's automatic if you notice. What we're trying to do is we're trying to become completely relaxed, completely surrendered to any movement. So when you're doing this and you close your eyes, you want to notice the agitation in your mind. Notice the, the fear coursing through your body and then slowly open to that fear as your eyes are closed. Slowly open to that agitation, feel the agitation. And that's, and that's, once you can just really open to this, everything's going to start changing for you. And you're, something's, and I feel like something, this is what happened to me. Something just clicked one day when I just realized I could, oh my God, I don't have to resist this energy anymore. I can just allow it. I can just surrender to it. I can just, oh, I can just let it go through me and I don't have to fight it anymore. i Everything changed and, and that's the point I want to really get you to is to where you can just be there and you relax your awareness. You have, you, I know, I understand it's super hard at first. It's fucking almost impossible. I get it. But if, if you're having crazy fearful thoughts and so many of them, just relax your focus. Don't contract. You know how focus can narrow and your your awareness can narrow and concentrate on like things just do the opposite become as much of the spaciousness if you think about it when your eyes are closed become as much of the spaciousness around you as possible and don't allow and just relax and don't allow yourself to contract on any thought just stay open and allow all of the craziness the fear the anger whatever it is to be there and you're, you're just observing it as a neutral presence. And that, that's a very powerful place to be because that's when you can start. I don't want to get too crazy spiritual on you, but that's when you can start really connecting to your life force energy, your soul, your a higher form of intelligence. And, and, and you can just allow the momentum to reduce, allow those thoughts to reduce. You can allow that suppressed energy to come up and out of you. And you can really become this lighter, more peaceful, more calm, more rational person. And it doesn't take that long if we just can follow some simple steps. And the last thing I want to say to wrap this uh, video up is the place we want to come to through this practice is just a complete and utter total allowing of everything where we don't feel a need to suppress the mind or do battle with the mind, where we don't feel a need to run from our emotions or to resist our, uh, the energy inside of us, the emotions inside of us. I mean, because what you resist persists. So if we can just surrender to everything going on within us, everything will come to a natural balance on its own. Because that's what energy does. It always comes to a perfect balance. It's only when we start clinging to one too much light or too much dark that we create an imbalance within. If we, so the key is to let go of the mind let go of the negative beliefs, let go of the diluted thinking and just allow everything to be. And it will sort out on its own. There's not much more you need to know or there's not, there's no more secret than that. It's very straightforward and it's a really simple thing, but it can also be very difficult. And if it, 
it seems like it's impossible, just stick with it. Just notice those patterns that are continually going on in your mind. If, if you can stay at this space of relaxed awareness, you're going to be able to more easily identify these patterns and see them for what they are. You're going to see the fears you have about the mind. You're going to see all the things it's trying to scare you with, all its tactics. And you don't have to be servile to your mind. It's just a machine. It's not a master. It's as simple as that. It's, it's just a program machine. And the programming is just run by what you believe. So if you believe the fearful thoughts and you identify with them, well, it's going to stay as a program. If you can just allow the, th the thought to be there and you don't believe it and you don't give it your interest, guess what? It's going to lose its momentum and the program is just going to fall away naturally. And that's how this works. It's just one fearful program falling away after another, after another, after another. And when that starts happening, all that fear that those programs like brought into your body, into your cells, into your heart, into your liver, into your stomach, into your chakra centers, all that fear when you allow it to come up and fully immerse your being and fully arise in all its intensity, it starts releasing, it starts releasing because now you're not fueling it with more fearful thoughts. There's no more fear going in. It's just emptying out. Your mind momentum is slowing down and you're coming to this very peaceful state. You're coming to this more mature state because you have faced all of your fears. You, you sense your inner power more. You know your authenticity more. You become this more fearlessly honest person and your whole existence begins to deepen and you just experience this profound transformation within and it's waiting, it's just waiting there begging for you, please let me transform you. That's all the energy wants to do. It just wants to transform your entire being. It just wants to turn you into this fearless, authentic, honest, unique person that you came here to be. And it's, it's all it is is just letting go of all the delusional beliefs, of all the unconsciousness, and just seeing those patterns for what they are. And you're going to be amazed at the progress you're going to make. But I feel like I've been ranting for a long time. So I, if you're still watching this, God bless you. And I, I really hope this helps. I, I mean, I don't know. I, I've been trying to make videos to try to like get this content out in a more valuable way. I, making videos is a lot harder than I thought it would be. You know, you have all these ideas of how you want to say things and then you get in front of the phone and it's just a lot harder than you think. But anyways, I hope this helps some, someone out there. Feel free to share if you're going through anything crazy. I've been there. I know the depths, the deepest, deepest depths of this. And I totally sympathize and empathize with you. And I just want to help you as best as I can. So thanks a lot, guys. Uh, and keep opening to that fear.